If I had to describe it in one word, incredible, unbelievable. It's the closest thing to a miracle I've ever seen. A legend was born that day in the blink of an eye. Everything just went right, you know. Can't explain it. But to know the legend, you first must know the man. I was born and raised in Western Sydney. I was an only child. My mum was a nurse. My dad was a barber. He died when I was real young. Yeah, I don't like to talk about it. Well, I had to work long hours to put food on the table, so most of the time, Lee was left to entertain himself. My obsession with cricket started when I was pretty young. I lived and breathed cricket. I even dreamt about cricket. Yeah, Lee, he lived down the street from me when we were kids. We'd play cricket every afternoon and I'd flog him every time. He was rubbish. That's not true. Most days, I'd flog him so bad he'd go home crying like a little girl. I never cried. You said you did. One time I, I ran home crying because I pissed my pants, but never because he beat me. He cried. The fag. When Lee was 12, I let him play weekend club cricket. Lee Barnes, was that the little ginger kid? Yeah. Yeah, I remember him. Stupid little ranger. Couldn't bat, couldn't bowl. Not a bad fielder, though. Yeah, I liked fielding. I was no John T. Rhodes, but I was good at picking up the ball. I had hamsters as a kid. Light fingers. We played Kanga cricket all through high school. By the end of year 12, we were pretty good. Out of all of us, Kurt Brannigan was far and away the best. He played state league. <laughs> Brannigan? Brannigan's overrated. Every New Year's Day, we'd meet up for a barbie, have a few beers, play a game of cricket. It was tradition. New Year's Day 06. New Year's Day 06. Christmas Day 06. New Year's Day 06. Unforgettable day. Etched into history. It was 46 degrees that day. I'll never forget it. It was ridiculous. Smithy brought a lawnmower down to mow out a pitch. Everyone else couldn't breathe that day. It was that friggin' hot. Next thing, he got his car out as the bloody heavy roller. You take this thing seriously. What can I say? That's how I roll. So naturally, we got out there, the hottest part of the day, beers in hand, it was great. Oh! Took three wickets in my first over. Not a bad start to the year. He had a 48 ball over. Brannigan. I remember there was this group of chicks walking by. And I won't lie to you, there was a bit of showing off going on. Yeah, they were checking me out. I know what they were thinking too. They were wondering if the hair matches the pubes. <laughs> yeah, I do all right with the ladies. Uh, that's not what I asked you. Yeah, but just put that in there somewhere. So anyway, Smithy comes to the crease and he rates himself at the bat. We wanted him out straight away. I'm easily the best batsman I know. I'm the complete package. That's like if you put Brian Lara and Viv Richards together, made him white and incredibly good looking, You've got one, B. Smith. Fact. It's a pain in the arse, old Smitty. But if anyone could get him out, we thought it would have been Brannigan. First ball, Smith sends it back over his head. Glorious shot. I axed it. Straight to the car park. Then Smithy starts trash talking us all. If I got him out that over, I would have made my year. Then and there. Brannigan, he's getting smashed around. I've never seen him take so much punishment before. I tell you, that Brannigan is not all he's cracked up to be. He is Brannigan's shit. So we're in serious need of some redemption here. Enter the Redeemer. The Redeemer's first ball. Everyone was waiting for something big. As soon as it left my hand, Oh, I knew it was on. Smithy whipped it off his legs. Boomer took off like a red rocket. A lot of ground to cover. Sun in my eyes, full beer in my hand. What happened next was 
was out of my control. There was a picnic table in his way. Smith, you thought he placed it perfectly. I dropped my head. I thought there's no way in the world he's getting this. Then Boomer, the crazy bastard, jumps on the table. Eyes oh, fixed on the ball. Bang! Who loves it? We all went nuts! Innings redeemed. It was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. He didn't even spill a drop. It was a real humbling moment. I'm not a spiritual guy, but for a moment there, I was a god. A golden god. Now you know. It takes a miracle to get me out. You know, cricket's been around for centuries. Tests, one days, 2020s. There's been a lot of good memories. A lot of heroes and legends forged out in the middle. But sometimes, the best stuff doesn't happen at Lords or the MCG. The boomer's catch, it was up there. His story deserves to be told. With that magnificent catch, Boomer became one of the all-time greatest redheads. Up there with Carrot Top, Simply Red, and yeah, just those two guys. I wouldn't say it was luck. I wouldn't say it was a fluke. Yeah, it was probably both, with a little magic sprinkled.